But yeah, just let this music calm us down. You know, <laughs> get, give us give us a you know a little bit of time for people to join in. You know, get past the ads that you know YouTube loves to run. You know, you got about forty seconds of ads they you have to work your way through before your your you know the program actually starts on for you. So I that's hate- what. That's huh? why I do the music. That's why I do this opening music. Very stupid. So. So what do you hate? I don't even remember. Oh. Okay. All right. That's enough time for that. And uh, now we're I back to remember. being live. Uh and Tyr said good morning to you. Good morning, Tyr. Good morning, everybody. So, I got thinking. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, which is dangerous when I get thinking. But I, I got to, it's been a while since we talked about movies and books and such. You know, okay. I mean, because we just sort of ignored them. Well, for a while, that's all we really talked about mm-hmm. on Fridays, and but we just about haven't talked out. about them for a while. Uh, but I, and see, you know, I'm not an anime fan, but you are. Mm, I don't like a lot of anime, but what I do like. Okay, and what and. What I figured is I found, you know, you know, Ranker is one of my favorite places to go. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. And were you, a, uh, were you a Dragon Ball Z fan? Mm-hmm. No Pokemon, no? no Dragon. I don't like a lot of the modern stuff, like My Hero Academia, like any of that shit. I like oh, stuff okay. that people haven't really heard of that aren't really mainstream over here, like Goku Sen, it's about a teacher whose, whose father is secretly... Like a teacher who who hides the fact her dad's in the mafia, leads the mafia. What, what was, did, did you say? Jujitsu Kaizen? Oh no, I hate. I never saw that. Oh okay. Oh okay. Oh okay. Well then, that's not the list. I don't. That's not the list. I thought I had then here for you. I. You All know right. what? You're gonna give I me thought, shit I've never heard of. Probably. I want to hear it. Okay. Well, no. There, there was just you know. Uh, the best shonen anime, anime boys you crushed on. Uh, the anime girls. But the one I thought you would do is the 20 most anticipated anime of uh, 2024. I thought that'd be one that you would. Oh, okay. So there's new stuff coming out. Okay. That's right. Good. Okay. I did like One Punch, and I know a lot of people like that one. That was on Netflix for a while. All right. And like I said, I'm not a, a you know, my, my exposure to anime has always been uh, Speed Racer. Okay. Okay. I mean, of course, that's Speed Racer was around when I was a kid. Tell me, Robotech okay. is on your to-go list. And uh, um, Vampire D. Oh, that yeah, that was some good shit. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, the anime version. Um, now I can't remember the name of it. Is ba- uh, they took the video game and they made the anime out of it, or was the anime video game made out of the anime? Ghost in the Shell. No, that was the one. Um, remember the video game where you uh, had to, it was a side crawler and you played a count? Not Castlevania. Castlevania. Okay, there you go. I never played that or watched the anime. All right. And they, they had a decent anime on that that I enjoyed. Okay. That it was a, like a four or five part anime. Oh, uh, 
that yeah, Castlevania tire. You're exactly right, it, and it, it was fun to watch. It really was. Is it the one that's on Netflix, Castlevania? I don't think it was. I don't remember where it was. Because I know there was one Castlevania on Netflix. I don't know if it's the same thing. Okay, here we go. Here are the 20, I guess, anticipated. Oh. No. So you're going to have to help me with the uh, pronunciations because I know I'm going to destroy it. All right. Okay. I never watched Demon Slayer. I know what. Turn his sister back into a human after a demon attack. I think I saw like the first episode or something, and I liked it, and then I never saw it. But I watch it with Rob, so. Okay. We have this issue. So. Oh, this lo oh, is this season two? Probably. Okay. I don't know. I don't know either. Because they're talking about Demon Slayer is one of the most po popular modern anime in existence. Eh, it was okay. So, okay. So what else? I remember, I don't know when that is. I got Dylan King Kong. Oh, uh, these are guys meant to fight uh, fight Godzilla. Godzilla like I think the yeah. life promos they put Godzilla in. That actually looks not bad. Uh like I said, I am not an anime fan but that I literally just said I never watched that shit. <laughs> oh god, I get so tired to see. I, I get so tired of seeing this dance. It's in everything. It's in Marvel. It's in DC. It's in every freaking thing. Yeah, I mean, it's been around since the original Superman. Can't they come up with? You know, it's like the superhero landing. Yeah. You know? Although, I mean, like, if you think about it, it makes sense as a landing because you're, like, bracing yourself. But at the same time, shit. Yeah. But the, and you're right. The superhero landing does make sense. But standing there with your hands on your hips and chest pumped out and legs aside, and just enough wind to keep your cape flowing. You know, it's like, yeah. That guy, the uh, video of that guy running uh, down the middle of the street carrying the flag during a hurricane. Oh, that's, that guy. That's, uh, that's more reasonable to see than this. <laughs> I honestly, the guy waving the the flag during the hurricane, I see that and I always think I'm wrong because he's just that crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hero Academia. Not allowed to go out in storms anymore. It's been hit by like 10 damn times. The wife is home today, so, and we've got my son's dog. Oh. So she decided she would go out and mow the lawn this morning while I did this. I've literally never heard of this. The time as a slime? This is some really weird shit. I've never heard of it ever. He has the power to neutralize, to absorb the abilities of whatever he consumes, which leads him to gaining a ton of power. He uses that. Okay. So he's like one of those slimes in the old RPGs where you take turns and and there's a picture of a you know, found a red slime and yeah. Yeah. yeah when I think of a slime, I think of that gooey mess on the floor. I normally you know, think of the gelatinous cubes and D and D and shit, but right. 
but that actually I also think of like a green slime blocks your path and you have to fight it. Hey retro morning to you. Ran my one half. He also had a video game for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Think D and D slime. Okay. That's what Raman said it was. D and D slime. Well, okay. the gelatinous cube as much slime you get on those old RP. Oh I never heard of this, but that sounds fucking good. That sounds Oh, that does sound, you know. Remember when we used to do this? Oh. <laughs> uh. uh, poor just think poor poor grandma. She's got to put up with grandpa being horny again. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, this is Japanese anime. You it's know it's up. going you know it's going to go there. Yeah, but you know he ain't gonna be after grandma. He gonna be looking at Sports Illustrated. It's fine. Well, not the way it is now. I mean, <laughs> I've never heard of this. Either. Windbreaker. Of course, he's got black and white hair. Yeah. Oh, he's a juvenile delinquent. Okay. A lot of the. <laughs> huh. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Oh hell. I I I I'll never understand this fetish they have for turning uh women or girls or whatever into wolf hybrids. That looks or like an, my character City of Heroes. Or, or anima or animal hybrids. Wolf, fox, whatever. As long as it's got a furry tail. I have that except her hair is darker and she's got like longer hair and and big ear and fluffy. What what can you tell me what it is what it is? I don't. Okay, it's a reboot of Spice Wolf. I don't know. I never heard. I I know that three quarters of what they're gonna throw up here. I've never heard of. So, but I haven't seen anything that I want to run out and watch now, except for the grandma and grandpa. Hey, retro. If uh, you are a Rice Krispies fan and you're tired of paying that high price for Rice Krispies, you know you can make it on your stove. You can make I your own that. puff, own puffed rice. Sounds like work. And there's, well, there's actually three ways to do it. Uh, you can do it in an air fryer as long as your air fryer hits 450 degrees. Uh, you can do it in a convection oven again as long as it hits 450. Uh -oh. And and the other two ways, one is with oil and the other is with salt uh, in a pan stovetop. And I'm I've seen it done, uh, lots of videos of it being done. So Probably I'm going to have to try it. Try it in the air fryer. You tell me how it goes. Yeah. Well, my air fryer doesn't go to 450. It stops at 400. Oh, okay. So, and I think my convection oven only goes to 400. No, it goes to 450. Okay. The convection no, my, like my convection oven does do 450. I was so I make. Say, is, that, is that an electric oven? Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be at least 450. Yeah. Just like 
Your team Pebbles? Okay. I I'm Captain Crunch. I'm old school Captain Crunch. The original Cocoa yellow, Pebbles. the original yellow Captain Crunch. Uh that and uh honey nut Cheerios. I like and, the, what you call it, the multi-green churros. Those are really sweet. And then I'm also a fan of Special K. So those are the three cereals I, I eat. Oh, wow. Honey I Nut Cheerios. Really? I forgot that existed. I like Special K. I really do. I like corn. If I want sugar for breakfast, I buy uh, Captain Crunch. <laughs> I don't eat cereal for breakfast. I eat it at snack time. Is it well, also, my, also sugary? My pro well, see, I'll eat it for supper, but my problem is, is I find that uh, I want the second largest Tupperware bowl I have, and I just dump as much as that box will of that box into that bowl as it will hold. <laughs> oh, you just reminded me. I gotta get that cinnamon toast crunch milk again. That's a good chip. I haven't seen that at Walmart here lately. I haven't either. I haven't seen it in like a month at least. I'm wondering what happened. Did it get hurt? Oh, min mini wheats. Um, oh, they have some of the raisins in them. Everybody in my family thinks I'm strange because I actually like shredded wheat. Not the frosted shredded wheat, but just the... Oh, the ones that come in a big piece and have to break it up? Yes. At least like those two. That's good. You got to have a certain craving, though. You know, that's Apple Jack. Apple Jack. Cocoa Pebbles. Oh, they have, uh, um, what do you call it? The Cocoa Pebbles um, Easter Rabbit. It's chalk, it's solid milk chocolate. That's got some Cocoa Pebbles in it. Oh, oh. You, yeah. The wife, the wife got mad last night, TV commercial. Oh. Oh, All right. Uh, let's see. I, I'll just to make certain that I've got this right. Okay. Uh, the who is it that just won the uh, you know Cadbury eggs? I never liked those. Okay. Well, you know, every year they've got you know the, every year they've got these uh, and different animals that say they're going to be the Easter Bunny, and every year it's oh, always yeah. the Easter Bunny comes in. Oh no! Well, way. this year, okay, the wife saw the com commercial last night. Uh huh. And the who. Uh, I want to say they, I, I'm trying to find it here. I want to say they said that the uh, raccoon won it is the Cadbury bunny this year. Ah, uh, hell no. That's Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, that, that it really made the wife mad. It's like, I, no, it's called, the, it's called the Easter bunny. It's not called the Easter Sleep Raccoon. I mean, raccoons are cute. I love raccoons. Like, they're my favorite. I don't you know, know what? Yeah. But the the Cadbury 20, 2024 winner is a raccoon. Louie the uh, raccoon. Louie, really? Yes. And the wife started getting mad about it. And I was like, well, you know, they, uh, here we go. Let me share this oh, shit. I'm so That's that awesome. you can see it.
And so it's a trans animal. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. You know, it's like, well, boys can be girls and girls can be boys and everything else. Why can't a raccoon be a bunny? Ah. Uh, so it it is what it is. All right. So your Easter bunny's raccoon this year. Not my Easter bunny. Okay. Uh it let's... Been if it was a chick or a duck. I would have gone with that. Yeah, Tyre. Okay. I I read your uh, note there, Tyre, and all right, well that explain that explains it, I guess. Yeah, it's actually really super big. Yeah. Bunnies and eggs is fertility festival, yeah. It's like the whole Christmas. Okay. okay, so Okay, I never heard of this one. Misfit of the Demon King Academy. Never heard of that one either. Season two, part two, whatever. I heard of Vampire Academy. Vampire Academy. Okay, I heard of this guy. Black Butler. It's one of the things that kind of uh, always it, wanted to watch but never got around to it. Sell Phantom Hive and his demonic butler, Sebastian McCallis. Cool. All right. Shock and jobless. No idea what. Is this some Netflix shit again? A 30-something is reincarnated into a magical world as a baby. I don't look like no baby. This is bad as that movie about the woman having a baby's brain implanted in her head. I don't want to know. I don't even know what the hell that is either. Okay. Oh, they look so cute. The, oh, and it opens up with, well, he's dead. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, so the cute, yeah, he looks cute. Oh, by the way, he's dead. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, that's kind of funny. Okay, Agua is totally the goddess is totally useless. Awkward. Okay. Oh, that's kind of funny. Interesting. Bartender, the glass is oh. gone. Yeah. Oh, that, there was another show like this, a uh, live yeah. action show, very similar to this. So, but I want to say it was a Twilight Zone or an Outer Limits, something like that. Anthology? Where uh, a bar, you know, a bartender and everybody that come into this bar needed something that only this bartender could supply him with. And that's what it sounds like this. Though, I mean, that's exactly what this is. It kind of reminds me of the Callahan's Bar series from Spider Robinson. So... That's 
I mean, I, you know, ideas are ideas. And if you can take a good idea from something that happened 40 years ago, 50 years ago, or soon coming up on a hundred years ago with some of these shows, uh, can you believe we've had TV around that long? Before I was born, sadly. Commercial TV uh, history. Let's look that up real quick. 1941. Well, that 1941 is the first ad, TV advertisement. And it was, it was a Boulevard watch. Oh, a Boulevard? I had one. Yeah, I had Boulevard watches when I was a kid. Somebody stole it. Though, so. so. Uh, I was just look. So yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's been eight. You know, basically, uh, yeah, we're coming up on the hundred years of of television. I don't want to think about time passing. So. Yeah, retro, you got it. The you gotta have the the subs. You can't have no. You can't have voiceover. You gotta go subbing, not dubbing. Like I yeah. like Vic Zona. He's fun to listen to when he does interviews and, and stuff on stage. But as a voice actor, he does these baby voices and I don't like that. It's creepy. My only problem with doing stuff that is subtitled is I've got to, you know, I've got to make certain I've got nothing else going on. Yeah, you got to concentrate. Because you've got to concentrate. And there's been times where I've had to, you know, damn it, I missed. What did he say? You got to rewind. I have an issue with the size of the subtitle sometimes. Oh. Oh my God, I didn't even know that. The subtitle, there's subtitles. That's crazy. It sounded like they were hard coded in the video and then they added optional subtitles on top of it. That's crazy. Uh, Honestly, I like the fan subs better than the official subtitles because the fan subs are people that actually know the language and they'll, they'll use like the expressions as they're meant to. Like slang. They'll translate slang into proper slang. Yeah, they're really great. Retro says he liked Black Butler. Black Butler, yeah. Yeah. You know, I had it on my list of things to watch, and I just never got around to it. The irregular at magic. Uh, I feel like translated titles don't do it justice sometimes. Well, okay. Um, magic is a systemized technology. Cool beans. <laughs> It's not I've always, everybody. I've always liked it when either you know, magic was part of an innate ability that you had to learn to con- use and control. You know, either you had the innate ability, or you didn't. And then you know, the, of course, there's always the various strengths of of the ability. I missed Bleach. Bleach was fun. What we got here? Mish and Yakazora family. Yozakura? 
guess. That's close enough. You know. Uh, of course, it's dead parents, not the bed that hurt. Okay. Oh, parents always die. You can't be running around all hours of the day and going to different worlds and pulling magic if your parents are around. Yep. That's what I liked about Bleach. The father was still alive. The mom had passed, but the dad was still alive. And they always had to hide the weird shit from the dad. Like, he had the, the girl living in his closet. And, yeah, she wasn't down for that shit. She would come out of weird times. And they were seeing ghosts and stuff. And it was, yeah, it was crazy trying to keep the dad unaware. Oh, yank on heartstrings here. A condition called love. She's probably 15, so it's not that unusual. Okay. Mm. Would they really do that about a, a teenager? Or, you know, would that be something about somebody in their mid 20s? It could be. I mean, I can't tell by the illustration how old they are. All right. But they're dressed like, she looks like she has a book bag and they're dressed like teenagers. And I think he's wearing a school uniform. Okay. I'm all okay. I don't know if that's it. Mom, dad, and baby. Oh. That baby looks weird. He does. Baby looks, you know, half alien or something. It wasn't drawn well. And the parents look bland as hell. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Now, read this premise and tell me that I'm reading that right and that it's it's not a misprint. I can't really see, though. Hold on. Let me make it bigger. Um, and Masaki just wanted to have an ordinary married life, raising their son. Got to put that as easy. So, is, I know. Oh, no. And was feeling like a bird. Oh. It's Alpha Omega Diamonds. Please, no. No. That is a weird kink, and I am not into that shit. Okay. If I was, I certainly wouldn't admit it here. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, they definitely, uh, all right. Like, well, yeah, that'll be this is this is fun Friday. No politics or ugly things to be talked about. <laughs> you can't kill this bitch. Okay. Anyway, um. Oh, horrible. she doesn't die. I thought I don't know. Oh, okay. Talking about myself. Self centered. Teenage camp. girls who love to go camping. Cool. I think that sounds too normal. Something's gotta there's gotta be a flip side to this. Yep. Definitely gotta be a flip side. The death road story. All right. I didn't see that. This looks so normal though. I would watch it. It, it looks way too normal. I don't expecting Jason to like reach a hand out of the lake or something. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, something weird's going to happen. Sound and then euphonium? Euphonium. I don't know. I've never heard of the most of these. I didn't think. I didn't think I would be the most of these. Like shit. Okay. Yes, sweetheart. And what would you like? If I had smile and weed eat in the back of the just 
Nah. Okay. Because it's going to be right here by the window. Okay. That's fine. I'll just talk louder. All right. Wow. <laughs> Ask her what her favorite anime is. I think it got quiet all of a sudden. My wife loves mowing the lawn. Okay. That's she actually does. Than. She it's actually, better than you know, I am, man. I you know with, with, with the way that I, you know, I prefer cooking, she prefer, she, well, see, she's got all of her plants and everything all the way around. So and she does her landscaping. So, right. It's like, she had me buy a fire hydrant. Okay. All right. Because what she wants to do is take a section of the backyard, put down that weed killer, weed barrier stuff, put the fire hydrant in the middle of it, edge it out with some lumber or something, and then fill it with sand all the way around the fire hydrant. And then put Spanky's potty above the fire hydrant. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? But you know no. I I got her and this damn fire hydrant must weigh 80 pounds. It's an actual real fire hydrant that I bought yeah. on the auction website for like fifteen dollars. <gasps> wow. Yeah. They had like 30 of them they were selling. So they they got rid of them all, but none of them went very high. Yeah, but kind of a the, the city was selling them. They didn't want them. You'd think they could have turned them in. You know, these things are made out of iron. You'd think they could have taken and scrapped them and got money at the scrapyard for them. I don't think scrap goes for as much as it used to. So. I think even $15 would probably be higher than what they were going to be awesome. Like, you used to sell bottles and stuff and get a couple of dollars for a bag. and Yeah. You can't, no. It's not like, it's not that much anymore. Like, it's not worth the gas of driving to somewhere and get getting a refund, whatever. So, I, I like the title of this one, Date Alive, like you're going day to dead. Uh, spirits. Oh, apparently that is an option. Uh, wait. Can, they can kill 150 million people at once. So we should just put all the, yeah, I'm going to shut up because that's going to get the channel shut down. So, oh, he's got to date them to keep them from killing people. I'm just saying, though, like Venezuela <laughs> opened all their prisons and their country and all those people came here and their country has a surprisingly low crime rate now. So uh, I could think of some place to put those spirits. That's all. <laughs> now I'm going to shut up. Okay, let's hear Whisper Me a Love Song. Is it said that none of these are appealing to me at all? Well, I mean, this is about a teacher that wants to date a uh, student. A female oh teacher God. wants to date a female uh, student. Too close to real life these days. Yep. That's oh, fucking creepy. I'm sorry. So. I don't know. I see stuff like this, and I don't think it's really an enemy. I think it's a cartoon that's made here. Trying to push an agenda. Well, it's it's a Yokohama Animation Labs Cloud Hearts. Let's see where Yokohama. So, okay, that's all for that. I guess even the Japanese are getting into that kind of stuff now. 
because they had the one gay one, and now they get, and then they have the lesbian one. Uh, well, you know, in a lot of anime, there was always like this kind of possessiveness with female characters that bordered on that, but didn't really act on it. Right. Um, it's it's a kind of a vibe, and it was cool, but no. Okay, it's in Japan. Right. Okay, I apologize. It's not in the lab. Okay, well, here's here's something that we can all just dis- well, I think we can all discuss on. All right, because this deals with real live people. Oh no! Oh yeah! What are you gonna do? Who played the best Joker? Michael Keaton. Joker. Oh, Joker! I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. I have to agree here, Heath Ledger. I didn't, the you, only ones I saw were the Michael Keaton Batman, so I don't know. Are you are you didn't see the Heath Ledger Batman? No. Or the Heath Ledger's Joker in uh, the uh, the Dark Knight? No, I didn't see the Dark Knight. Oh. Okay, now I did see it to him, and I do think he was really good. That's all I'm gonna say. But like Jack Nicholson was basically himself with Joker makeup. Right. You know. But Jack Nicholson made a good Joker though. <laughs> I think it was more the writing than Jack Nicholson himself. Well, I mean, well, yeah, kind of a little, a little bit Jack Nicholson and ninety nine percent the writing. Yeah. The, the only thing I didn't like about this was the makeup. Okay, I mean, you know, what, you know they you know they didn't slick his hair back. I mean, the well, Joker's always had the slick back hair. They can't all be Cesar Romero clones, you know. Well, that's true, but. I, uh, weirdly, okay, I got a question since you've seen it. I didn't. The makeup, did he apply makeup or did he fall into a vat in the in the factory? Oh, you're talking about the, which one? Which Joker? This, the Heath Ledger one. Did he apply the makeup or did he fall in a vat in a factory like, like Canon Joker? The, they didn't give an origin story here. So do they you didn't? see him applying the makeup? No, you don't see him applying the makeup. So we don't know. Okay. Right. Either there way, it'll work, though, the way it looks. They, they really don't do an origin story here in okay. this one. But, yeah, this, this was still, you know, Heath, uh, next to Cesar Romero's Joker, mm-hmm. Heath Ledger's, you know, they're the two iconic they're going to always be to me. The two. I like your makeup, though. The the two. Uh, he yeah, he's definitely got the the down and dirty. Whereas uh, Cesar Romero's was more of a very dapper, upper up, upper class. Uh huh. Joker he, Heath Ledger was definitely a uh, down and dirty one. Oh my God! You know now, what I mean? Mark Hamill had the right voice. He really did for this the Joker. Is where, this is where I separate the art from the artist because I really dislike Mark Hamill now. So I gotta say, yeah, I'll be honest, it was the best voice. Mark Mark Hamill definitely had the second best voice as the Joker. Again, I'm going to go back to okay. see Romero as having the oh, best. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that. You know, really got my goat though was when they did that Penguin movie. Uh, not Penguin. What do you call it? It's a Batman movie with Zoe Kravitz and what's his name, Pattinson. The last one they did. Oh, and, that one. But at the oh. end, they showed a costume that did not look nothing like anything we'd ever seen. It was the fucking Riddler. It didn't even look like a Riddler costume. Yeah. It was like a hint to the next movie. I hope they don't come out with the next movie. That was not a good movie. No, I, I. I it took me a, almost a week to watch that movie. I really didn't want to watch that because, movie. Because well, I I had to watch it, but so did I. God, I, I, it was bad. It was bad. I did not want to see it. And see, number two is Mark oh. Hamill. 
Mark Hamill did have the voice acting for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, I could not see him physically playing the Joker in any way, shape, or form. No, not at his form. age. Well, at any age, I couldn't see him pulling off the Joker. I keep seeing but, Luke Skywalker when he was younger. If I saw him. Yeah, so. But he definitely had the voice to do it. So... I really got to disagree here with their ranking. I think Jack think Nicholson should, be should have been. I think he should be lower. I hope you're not putting him behind Joaquin okay. Phoenix. Because that was. Mm. No, I'm, no, I'm putting him behind Cesar Romero. Okay, that's fair. All right. And but I'm you know, also it's hard going to be put the original. Him... You know? But I'm still going. But I'm also going to put them behind a couple He's of voice like actors too. Oh, okay, okay. All right, because I've cheated. I already looked at this list. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix should be way down at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did watch this. The performance was great. I, you know, that the movie was a good movie. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't see but it. it does not belong. This does not belong in the Batman Joker arena, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. All right. the The backstory is just a hundred percent wrong. Now, see, Cesar Romero should have been number three. Number three? Yeah. Okay. One, one Heath Ledger, I don't have a problem with. Two, Mark Hamill, again, I don't have a problem with. Number three should have been Cesar Romero. Okay. Four would have been Jack Nicholson? No, four would not. Uh, the, Who is that? This here is from the Gotham TV show. Man. Which is why I'm ex- sort of ignoring that. it because I think I watched like three fourths of the first season and then lost interest in Gotham. You're like the only person I've seen that's watched any of it that admitted to it. So I watched about three fourths of the first season, and that was it. Uh, here, voice actor Zach uh, Galifianakis or whatever. Galifianakis, he, yeah. Yes, I know. Uh, he he, he should have been. Uh, he should have been four. Okay. I would, I would put him four because again, the voice acting was spot on. I don't remember the the Lego movie with that one. I know I took my kids to see it. I just don't really remember it. Well, I watched it with uh, my grandson a couple, three times. That's why. Yeah. You know, and then I watched it just because I thought it was, uh, it's a cute movie. I don't know, man. I saw Zach Galifianakis in Due Date. What was it? That was a Robert Downey Jr. movie. And I forgot the other one. He just plays a total freaking weirdo that doesn't socialize well in everything I've seen him in. Right. Okay. Never even heard of John DiMaggio. So. I hadn't either, but I did watch his Batman Under the Red Hood. Okay. And I was not disappointed in the voice <laughs> acting. Okay. All right. Uh, so, okay, you know, I could live with him being in the top 10. He was uh, okay. I don't really remember. I did, I did not play the Arkham Origins. I didn't play any of the games. Okay, but I did watch the Assault on Arkham. And... It was okay. So again, mm-hmm. now I've got no problem here. Uh, 
Oh, oh. That's fucking weird. He looks like Predator. Uh, th- this is a uh, um, future Batman. Almost. And, yeah. I don't know. If you did, yeah. I didn't, I've only watched a few series, a few episodes of this. So, uh, it's a totally, it's a totally different take on most of the characters. And so, yeah, it's different. No, I I didn't play the video games, so I've got no idea. Oh, it's Telltale series. Okay, that's a different vibe anyway. Yeah. I've got no idea. I didn't play the video games, so no idea about how uh-huh. this went. But that's an interesting look for the Joker. I don't know. It's the same look. I think it's just smeared and I think the art style is different. Yeah. This is a video game. That looks like a payday mask. (laughs) I love payday too. Don't judge me. Self grenades, man. Now, I did not know this even existed. Me neither. A film adaptation of The Dark Knight. I, okay. Dark Knight Returns. I did not know this even existed. I will probably have to uh, rent it and watch it just to see what it's like. <sighs> Sorry, I'm... but it's I mean to have, to have the Joker with a uh, businessman's haircut mm-hmm. that could be interesting. Larry Storch, I forgot Larry Storch did a Joker. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, uh, F Troop. Okay. He was the short guy. Okay, I don't, yeah. I don't really remember. Okay, you, you had the big, tall, fat guy, and yeah. then his buddy, the short, the short guy. Uh-huh. Go on. Uh, let me... My mom used to watch it, so I was real little, but my mom used to watch it. It went in repeat vacation, but I okay. was not a fan. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't seen that face in like decades. Right. No, my little girl. So yeah, Larry Storch was uh, one. I totally forgot that he had done voice acting. So, like, is he even still alive? Damn, he'd be ancient. He'd be like eighty something. Ninety. Uh, he died two years ago, July eighth, twenty twenty-two. Oh. So. But yeah. Anyway, D D D D. So I mean just the fact Larry Storch has got a soft spot in my heart, I would rank him higher than thirteen simply because well, I mean, you know, he, Larry Storch. <laughs> this cartoon looks like a very retro fancy vampire. Yeah, well, this is from the 1960s. What can you say? This cartoon is, is it, from the 1960s? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that explains it then. So, you know, it, it, it's not a dark... Uh, it's not a darker um, villain. You know, he's more of a, you know, a lighter-hearted villain. So... Uh-huh. I did not watch these this either. No. The uh, Young Justice Outsiders animated series. Oh, this looks like Lego though. 
Yeah, that's what I thought it was when I first saw it was a Lego, but it, it, yeah. I have no idea. I, I didn't watch it, so. I had no idea there's like almost 15 people that did the Joker. Like, holy shit, that's a lot of people. Oh, no. Lou Gossett Jr. died? No. And we still got fucking Biden. We lost Lou Gossett Jr. and Biden's still walking around, shambling around like a bag of bones and shit. Oh, man. That's sad. I never well, I mean, anybody. you know, um, Joe Lieberman died the other day. Which I was uh, sad to see. Joe Lieberman is one of the few Democrats I actually respected. But Luke Gossett Jr. dies at 87. Wow. I liked him. Me too. I, I, I saw most of his movies. Officer and a gentleman. I never did get to see Enemy Mine, though. That makes me sad. Oh, Enemy. You never saw Enemy Mine? No. Oh, we'll, ha we'll definitely have to do a movie night and watch him. So. Yep, come on, he was known for more than just an officer, officer and a gentleman. I know, but that's the first thing I think of. Okay, well. Wasn't he in good times also? I've had good times on my mind recently seeing that fucking commercial. Okay. Let me look here, see if we can find uh, filmography. Iron e okay, Iron Eagle, Eagle, the Cuban, Jaws 3D. Oh, that was. I felt that was so seeing, awful. It was good. I, I felt sad seeing him in that. My son loved that movie. We'd sit and watch all the Jaws movies, man. It was great. All <laughs> right. Let's see here. JD's Revenge. Cap Capture the Heart. Uh, the Wife liked that one. The Left Behind series. Never heard of Smitty. I don't know. And it's got Peter Fonda in it. Huh. Oh, Digstown. Yeah. Firewalker with uh, Chuck Norris. No. That was back when they were doing the, that was the, uh, Indiana Jones era. Oh. When they're doing Indiana Jones movies everywhere. Okay. So. I don't remember seeing him in The Punisher. Which one? Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Dolph Lundgren's version. Oh, I didn't see that. So, the hell is that my phone? No, that was my watch reminding me that I've got to. Uh, oh no, my ex husband just fucking messaged me. Setting, I've got it set up to remind me to uh, uh, set up my mortgage payment. Uh, you know, due on the first, so mm -hmm. two days before. So that means I got to take uh, a couple of checks. I got in my wallet to the bank, deposit them, because that covers my mortgage. So toy soldiers. Okay. 
I don't remember the principal with Belushi. Oh, yeah, I do with Belushi. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, the Iron Eagle movies. <laughs> hey, the man got paid for movies. Hey, you know. Yeah. You know, I'm not. Uh, they were good movies. Yeah. Enemy Mind, though, is still one of my favorite movies. It really is. Wow, a laser disc. Somebody actually still has a working laser disc? Ain't that something else? What? Who's got a laser disc? No, uh, no. See, the, some this uh, enemy mine laser disc movie for oh, sale. Okay. So somebody's got a working laser disc for sale. That just absolutely surprises me. That somebody would have a working laser disc. I haven't seen one of them around in forever. All right, get back to. Uh, a crossover fighting games in justice. I didn't play those video games either. This sort of reminds me of a 1950s hoodlum joker. So. You know, the way he's got his hair combed and the leather yeah. jacket. Yeah, you know, that's sort of like a 19... 19- 1950 UK, yeah. The, this is absolutely the worst Joker ever thought of. Oh my fucking god! That is the worst. That should be. That's the look they're going for for the new Crow movie. Your kid, oh, then I won't watch it if it's they're not going green for hair. The, but that's kind of the style if you look at it, and it's Bill Skarsgård playing the Crow. Well, then I was looking forward to watching it, but this is Not the look me. I like going. the original. Oh, I do too. And I, that's why I was looking forward to watching it, watching the remake. But if they're going with this style of a look for it, then forget you. You. Oh, this here's the video game. I didn't play the video game, Lego mm-hmm. video game. So no clue, no clue. But yeah, all these here should be above that Gerald Leto Joker. All these Gerald Leto, Leto should be at the very bottom. Now, if Bergman here was able to adapt Mark Hamill's version of uh, the Joker, then he should be much higher than 18 because Mark Hamill did a great job. Uh huh. So, and we'll take a look. Jeff, I don't even recognize this Joker. Batman, the Brave and the Bold animated series. God. Nineteen. Oh, I remember the nineteen seventies Joker. Which one is this? I'm sorry. This is from the nineteen seventies animated series. I didn't see that. Okay. So yeah, I mean you can tell. Us, I mean you know they took the set the nineteen uh, sixties version, animated version, and just updated it a little bit. Uh, as far as the uh, uh, look goes. So. Yeah, Retro, you're absolutely right about uh, Lou Gossett being one of those actors you saw everywhere. He was just a working actor, you know. Uh, somebody offered him a job, and if he could see himself doing it in any fashion, he did it. 
you know, he, uh, he had his standards for, for what he would do. And as long as what you, uh, it's like the guy that I can never remember his name. He always played. He's that white haired guy actor that uh, always plays a villain. Cause it always yeah. looks like, a. uh, I mean, he actually looks like a villain. Oh my God. I don't know who you're talking about. I feel like I should know. Uh, the, see if I can find a picture here. This Neil McDonald. Here, I'll share the screen here and just, and show you. Once you see him, you'll know who I'm talking about. What the hell I guess is his, hair, his, hair, his hair is actually more yellow than God. white, but... Ravenous! I know this guy! He played a German guy in Ravenous. I love that movie. Okay. Now, you gotta like, see Ravenous. That is such a good freaking movie. But see, he he will not kiss anybody in his movies. There's a couple of guys that are like that. It's not a, you know, he, he, cool. he he said he get he goes, I'm he goes, and I was watching the interview with him. Uh-huh. And he said, When you when you're playing a bad guy and you kill somebody in the movie or TV show. When they say cut, the guy gets up. He's not dead. Da 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 da. Life goes on. But when you kiss somebody in a show, mm -hmm. and they say cut, you still kiss that person. That's a really good point. So, and the only person I kiss is my wife. Aww, that's sweet. So. You know, that so that's just something that he's got written. He, he, uh, everybody knows that's in all my contracts. And if they want, if they've got a role and they want me in it, they just have to understand if they want me, this will not happen. Okay, that is the sweetest fucking thing I've heard of. Oh my god, yeah. So Aww. that. It, it, it's nice to see somebody have those kind of standards, though. Amen. And you actually do see him in a lot of shows. Yeah. You know, yeah. again, he, he's just an actor that goes out and acts. And, you know, he, he plays the heavy in a bunch of shows. And uh, he's, I mean, he's got the look and the, the demeanor to be right? a heavy. You know, so, but you just think it's funny. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm willing to kill somebody. I just won't kiss anyone. Kiss <laughs> he's doing a good point. Yeah. He, yeah, he does. It's, it, it's a real good point that he brings up over it. Oh, Wait, man. Who's on? Well, at least you're not telling them to put their pants on. <laughs> Let me tell you, when I first started streaming and they were little, that's my whole stream was telling them to get their damn pants on. Both of them. It was horrible. <sighs> I'd be shooting a cop and I'd be like, get your pants on. My daughter's like, you're ruining my life. You know, and she, you know, yeah, that was not fun. <sighs> no, I'm the one now. I'm telling myself, get your bra on. I gotta go. So do what you will with that. Oh, you don't like them swinging in the breeze? I love them swinging in the breeze. I just don't want other people seeing them swinging in the breeze. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I got to see my ex-husband. I got to look better than when we were married. Shit. Well, that's going to be hard. <sighs> oh. You want to do another one of these lists to see what we can come up with? Can you find a good one? Well, okay, how about, okay, I got 20 movies based on books that are nothing like the book. Oh, my 
God. Uh, horror adaptations that are nothing like the book. I could go with horror because I think the top one will be Children of the Corn. Uh, and what's that other one? The Maximum Overdrive. 20 bad action movies by right by how obviously great they really are. I want to go with the horror movie thing. Okay. I think see. I can I... relate to that. All right. My and then. Okay, so let's horror books, horror books. Okay, 17 horror adaptations. There we go. And the first one I agree with 100%, The Lawnmower Man. Exactly. Oh, my God. That was a Stephen King short story. Right. And he got real mad over that shit. That was absolute. I mean, the movie itself was decent. Yeah, it was. It was a decent why movie. did they call, have to call it the Lawnmower Man? Because originally they were gonna make it like that, and then they changed the whole fucking thing. Oh. They were actually gonna make that that book a movie, but yeah, they couldn't call it Stephen King's Lawnmower Man. They just called it the Lawnmower Man. So, although I don't think you could have made a whole movie out of that story, it was really short. And to the point. Yeah, but that would have been good in like, uh, um, like a creep show kind of thing, like anthology. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like you know, a creep show style movie, right? I hear they that could have, they could have done that real easy in that. In fact, hey, I actually like the creep show and Me creep too. show. Let's see that Tales creep show, crypt. creep show two, Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, they had all kinds of movies coming out with just little short venuettes that were great watches. The most recent rendition of Creep Show had like season two. It was like an NPR kind of thing set up. Right. And they brought out the Necronomicon. Ted Raimi uh, was supposed to be an antiques collector. And he brought the Necronomicon with him. It was like oh, antiques pro really? show. It was, it's on Shudder. And I forgot uh -huh. where else, but that was, it was really a funny episode. I don't think it was supposed to, maybe it was supposed to be funny, but it was good. Well, okay. Uh, so, but yeah, we can all agree that the lawnmower man was nothing like the story. No. Okay. And what they got next? World War Z. I didn't read the book. I read the book and I did watch the movie. Um, yeah, there's what, what they did here is they just took one of the characters from the book and just sort of, uh, he sort of absorbed some of the other characters and then they made him the primary character in the movie. Uh, okay. So, now see, they're saying that, that there was no equivalent in the book. The way I sort of remember it, it was like sort of like bits and pieces of everybody. Oh, okay. I've seen those where they take all the characters and make them into one person. Gone yeah, with the that, kind of did that. You know, th that's the way I sort of took it. I mean, I enjoyed the movie. Okay. I did enjoy the movie, but uh, I mean, this is the first time I remember seeing Fast Runners for Zombies. <laughs> uh, 28 Days Later did it. Or 28, did they do it before World War Z? I think it came out before World War Z, but I'm not sure. Okay. I'm washing my hands right now, so I can't get to the computer. I love my wireless headset. All right, next one down. Oh, The Shining. Yes. Yeah. Like the first half is pretty good, and then it crapped out. I mean, I still like the movie. Yes. You know. It was a good movie. Uh, I never did see. Uh, now, King made his own version of the movie. It was not good. And I, I never did see it. it. No. It, the acting is very flat. Like physically, he got the actors that physically most resembled the book characters. 
Right. Because um, what is it? Wendy was a mousy blonde, and whatever. Right. But um, Rebecca the Mornay never called mousy. Oh, uh, uh, Rebecca. The only thing Rebecca the Mornay ever got right at was showing her boobs off. Hey, she was a decent actress. Come on. You know, it's just she was not. And I don't think she had Oliver Stone, or not Oliver Stone, what's his name? You know who I'm talking about, the director. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick, terrorizing the hell out of her every time she turned around a corner. So, yeah. Duval might not have looked like Wendy, but she looked as scared as Wendy. I'll tell you that. Oh, she played that Wendy very woman. well. She. That poor woman. I mean, she played Wendy very well. She's probably still in counseling over that shit, too. <laughs> I feel so I, bad. I shouldn't laugh at it, but you're probably No, you should right. laugh at it because it's not you. You can laugh at it. Trust me. So. Where's the dad shit? I'm the brother. Now, this is another one that sort of pissed me off. Did I like the movie. It was okay. But. Okay. The I Am Legend with Will Smith. Oh, I didn't. I didn't read the book. I saw parts of I Am Legend. I just gotta watch the movie. All uh, right. If you want to watch something that's right off the book, and it's on YouTube, so you can watch it for free. Watch the it last with uh, Vin, Last Man on Earth with Vincent, Vincent Price. Price. And he was the best. He was the, he was the okay. Oh, in fact, they've got listed right here. The 1964 Vincent Price, Last Man on Earth, came the closest. Here, found the shirt. So, but uh, now, and now, did I like Last Man on Earth with um, Charlton Heston uh, was the Omega Man? Char well, well, yeah, the Omega Man, Charlton Heston. Yes, that was pretty good. That was really good movie. All right. But it wasn't as tight to the book as Vincent Price's book. Surprise! Well. So, oh, yeah. yeah, if you if uh, if you ever want, um, I tell you another zombie. Oh God, I can't believe I'm going to actually talk about this. Talk about it. It's a Japanese movie. It's all in Japanese. It's not even subtitled. Oh, well, that's bad. Okay. What is it? Um, and it's on the Internet Archive. Okay. Okay. Lust Zombie. Never heard of it. Okay. L-U-S-T Zombie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not, not like this. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. It's also called Rape Zombie. Oh, hell no. You know, Rape Zombie, Lust of the Dead. But there's actually three of them. Four of them. Five of them. It's like Good the human cinema. They just kept making them. Oh, my God. Okay. But, uh, no, Lust of the Dead is the there's name There's no way of the you movie. can make this sound any better. All right. No, it's... Uh, A strange phenomena turns men into rapists and then into zombie rapists. Yes, that is out there. Are you still there, Raman, or did you leave because I made Excuse you mad? Me. Huh? Okay. Now we talked about zombies there, and that made me think of that mess that I saw. I could not believe that actually existed, and I can't believe they actually. I thought I couldn't believe they made three of them. Then to find out they made five. Ah. Uh, Japanese are weird people. They probably think the same thing about us. No, that's true. They probably think we're super repressed, but let our kids see all this violent shit. So, okay, I didn't watch Queen the of the Dead. I've watched the movie, but then I don't read Anne Rice. So I 
I, the Vampire Di Chronicles are like the one exception. But the book for it was really good because the backstories are really rich. Like, it's my favorite book out of the whole series, Queen of Dan, because it goes into everybody, all the side characters' backgrounds. Jesse, the the vampire twin. Right. Like every, you know, it was really compelling. I don't say that about all her books, though. So this one is like, yeah. It's a big book, too. We're talking Stephen King's Tommyknockers big. So. Oh, okay. It, but it's one of those books I'll read a lot. Like, I'll read the hell out of it, like, a million times. So. Right. I don't but know about the movie, I'm, Queen Queen of the Damned was I remember I watched the movie. Uh and it was like, okay, that was a thing. You know, it didn't uh I think the reason why it made the made what it did make was because this woman died right after oh, making yeah. the movie. Yeah. Aliyah. Okay, so that was her her final movie was her running around uh, half naked most of the time. Oh, you know. the character's costume was like her choice. So. Okay. The Haunting. I don't know. The Haunting of Hill House. I never watched it and I never saw the I never read it or saw the movie. And being as I really loved the 1960s and 70s horror flicks because you know they're yeah, you know, the special effects weren't that great for the most part. Right. Uh, that's why I love them because you know, just the effects are so bad. <laughs> um. Oh, yes, the 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 movie and the and the poem, the raven, have nothing to do with each other. You know, but it had Vincent Price in it, therefore it's worth watching. I like The Fly with him. That will always be my favorite movie with Vincent Price. Which even one? Though he was a, the Fly. Even though he's the side character, I still love that movie so much. Um... My favorite Vincent Price movie would have to be The Pit and the Pendulum. Everybody says that. I have to see that one. But then, I mean, he just made so many good movies. So, as it's... it's and his voice acting in uh, The Saint radio show Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I keep getting that was a radio. Yeah, and that that was he really did a good job. My mom liked all those old those things, the prisoner. The so okay. I never watched her. I never heard of this one. It's Dean Coots' Coots's book. I'm not. I'm not a fan of Dean Coots. I only read one of his books. I think it was Soul Survivor. This is one I don't. I I I don't remember the movie or the book. Same. That's an interesting effect on the wall, though. Yeah. Keep checking chat to see if they've got anything to say about these. All right. Oh, I just said the fly. Damn. Yeah. Now, yeah, this, this is uh, this is 
they're doing here is what the uh version with uh uh damn now, now why can't i remember his name what whose name jeff goldblum yeah this is jeff goldblum's version yeah i actually i actually like the 1958 version a little bit better they both had good points to them you know i like the ending though where you have the little fly on the spider you know yeah oh god that was like and then they realized they killed the guy with the human body it was yeah <laughs> uh that's when you get the newspaper out yeah. yep but i mean jeff go there was parts of this movie though that was more gross than horror yeah, it's body horror. Yeah. You know, and I don't like, you know, gro gross out movies aren't my favorite movies to watch. Not just for the yeah. sake of gross. But I, you know what? I think it was really, I think it was valid for this movie. I don't think it was gratuitous. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But This is one of the few movies I'll say this, this was actually valid shit. I... I still prefer, you know, like in the original one where they did the body swap, the, yes. the you know, the guy's head on the body of the fly. And vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, to me, that was, but. I like, you know, I like this though. I'm not, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh no, I like, I, I'm not saying I don't like Jeff Goldblum's. I just. You like the other one better. For storytelling, I like the other one better, but this was fun to watch. Yeah, I'm. Both good in different ways. Exactly. So. And they weren't that far from the story either. So, okay, I didn't read it. I didn't see this. I've never seen it. I mean, do I know about it? Well, yes, yeah. because that little girl is everywhere. I mean, it's one of the most memed things done what movies. i don't like about all these japanese movies that like for a while it seemed like every asian movie japanese thai whatever anything that got popular got instantly remade in america and it's like seen for seen the same fucking thing just slap some subtitles over it, bring it over here it, but because i like dark water and there was another one i forget which one uh, oh, Shudder. I don't think that was Japanese. I think that was whatever. But yeah, Shudder and Dark Water were really good. And I could not watch them at all. Dark Water was sad. So. I don't know. The changes made the basic premise of the movie while the novels about the cursed videotape. Uh, da, da, da. the specifics of both histories and the curse of the tape conveys are different from the novels. In the book, she's 19 versus 12. Well, cursed and... children are scarier than cursed young adults, so okay. I mean, come on, it's they're creepy as hell. Look at Alma in um, what is that? What is that video game? Fear. No, Dar played it. Um, he played it. Alma was a scary little girl. No, you you can get away with more stuff saying that the, that the uh, cursed person is nineteen. You can yeah, get you away can. with you can get away with doing more things. That is true. Versus uh, a twelve year old. But you got it, man. That's a scary looking kid. Okay, I'm going to tell you straight. When I moved here. Our first weekend here, I had been watching a lot of Japanese horror. And my daughter was like, I think, six at the time. She was tiny as hell. She looked just like that picture in the middle of the night and came up on me. <laughs> Dude, she had this nasty habit of standing over me and breathing in my face. And I didn't even know she was there until I'd crack an eye open. And her eyeball would be right next to my eyeball. Like, just in my face. But, like, I'm not touching you. It's free air. You know, just right so close to me, but not quite touching. And this time... 
the blinds were open and the moonlight landed on her. So she looked all white. She was not cafe au lait. She was skinny and white and long hair in her face. And I screamed and she screamed and I shoved her and she screamed again. And then I realized it was her. And she never pulled that shit again. There is hell. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, retro's retro's asleep or half asleep. Oh I, no, retro, wake up. Well, no, he he went and did the gym this morning. Uh, so no, I'll be fat like okay. the rest of I did not I watch or see the relic. Thank you, me either. So no, no All idea. Right. Nope. Oh, oh God, Bird Box. I didn't read it. I didn't know it was a book. I. I'm glad I did not pay to watch this movie. It it was on Netflix. It's, I I didn't see I, it though. I didn't it. even pay for Netflix to watch it. I never heard of this. The Turn of the Screw. Okay, I've heard of that novel. Never read it. I remember. Why do I? I remember the turning of the screw. But I don't remember why I remember it. I know you mean, so it's gonna be... Now I am going to have to look that up and see why I remember that movie, that book. Because I, I've had to have read it's an 1898 novella, so I mean that's probably I probably read it off of a free library somewhere. Probably mm. on the dog. dog Dog Love Relic. Hey, Dog Dog. Undying. The Undying Monster. Oh. This looks so familiar. This looks so familiar, and I'm. Uh, but then I may be confusing it with uh, a scene from The Wolf Man. Yeah, he looks kind of fuzzy. Oh, I didn't know that was his eyes. I had to enlarge it. Oh, that's big. Yeah, it's furry, though. So I may be confusing that with The Wolf Man. But, hmm. The birds. Oh, I love this movie. The the story is good, mm. but the movie is. I love the movie. I didn't see the movie. I saw parts of it, and I didn't get why they were so scared of the birds. <laughs> this, this was a very psychological horror. I get it, and I like Kim Novak. So, so I, just, I could. My mom's like, "Come watch it." That was not a kid's movie. I was bored. I just no, wanted no, to get through it so I could watch Charlotte's Web. You know, you're right. This is definitely not a kid's movie because there's this is one of the psychological horror. This, now, this is the kind of horror I like. It's a psychological horror where you're sitting there going, ah. Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. You know, where you, you, you sit there and you, you, you can yeah. just see all these, you know, what would I be doing if I had all these birds lining up outside of my house? Get a baking pan and a bird, uh, a BB gun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> hey, groceries are expensive today, yo. Yeah, you're right about that. You know the song 4 and 20 Blackbirds? They... You know what? That reminds me. They did something like that in the Little House in the Prairie, the real books. The birds right. came and were eating the crops. Like, stop, please. I'm in a call. The birds came were eating the crops and he couldn't stop it. So they just started attacking the birds and packing them up and they made pies out of it for when Pocky yep. came home. Four and 20 blackbirds sitting in a pie. Oh. 
Uh, you have a see. problem? I'll be right I am uh, not a Peter Straub ball. fan. I've read several of his books. Some of them are okay, but I'm just not a fan of his. And the Chowder Society. And uh, I didn't. I didn't watch the movie either. So, and if this is the best scene that they could come up with to represent the movie, this is the best film clip. Then, yeah. <laughs> is this supposed to, this has got to be a comedy my best friend's exorcism no it's not a comedy it's supposed to be an actual horror movie But my best friend's exorcism that really, I mean, that don't lends itself to being a horror, a horror movie or a horror book title. Oh. Was that the end of the list? That's the end of the list. That was not a good. Well, okay, it was kind of a good. It wasn't great. Yeah, they said it was. They said it was only seventeen to start with. So I'm surprised they didn't have Children of the Corn up there. Yeah, or maximum you, you, overdrive. Oh God! Ooh. The movie Look, was okay. The Charlie Sheen movie was okay. But it it lacked so much that made the story good. Yeah. I maybe because you can imagine much more than what you can see. Right. But the the there was so much that just absolutely uh, was bad about that movie. Oh, yeah. So, oh, okay, yes. Finally. What? Mm. My... Uh, that they cut it close. I just got notifications from Walgreens that uh, the insurance approved my uh, pain pill refill. I've got two days worth of pills left, today's and tomorrow's. Wow! And they kept and uh, the uh, insurance kept denying it, saying it was too early to refill. With two days, that's bullshit. You know, it's like that's that that was starting to make me nervous as to whether or not it was going to actually happen, you know. So okay, oh here's another similar list that we can look at. Uh, this, this one here has got some additional ones, which I have to, that you and I both will agree with. Uh, the dark tower, the movie was nothing like the books It pissed me off. I watched the movie, uh, when they race swapped. Idris Elba. 
uh, uh, right. We want we want him as Roland. That's all there is to it. When you know they could have very easily had put in uh, Clint Eastwood's son, and it would have right. been perfect casting. I don't. But, I didn't read the book or watch the movie, but yeah, I, I'm down with that. But Stephen King even said that he based Roland's character, the appearance and everything, Please. off of Clint Eastwood's westerns, spaghetti yeah. westerns. And they could have very easily had brought in Clint Eastwood's son to, and his son's a decent actor, done the movie, and then they could have also then had done some of the sequels, uh, even with, uh, uh, I, I want to say her name was Abigail, the black woman with the split personality. I don't know. What, cause one of the personalities was a real nice woman. The other personality was a racist that kept calling, uh, rolling all kinds of uh, racist names. So, and you know, you, you can't, how can a black woman be racist to a black man? You know? I mean, colorism is a thing, but you know. Right. Yeah. So. And I'm look at Uncle Rocket. And and then there are some other parts of the movie that just didn't fit well with the book. So yeah. it was decent. It just wasn't. I mean, it was a decent movie. Mm -hmm. But if you were, I had all the books. I had the complete series. Had them all in hardback, all first printings. I special ordered each and every one of them. And I was just thoroughly disappointed. I can see so, that. And they never should. And, and honestly, their movies were rated PG-13. If they'd done with the book, uh, they'd been rated R. R. They'd been rated R, which is what they should have been made. They're I trying mean, to catch all these little kids with the Stephen King. But. All right, let's see here. Forrest. Oh, Forrest. Yes, Forrest Gump. From what I've read, I never read the book, but. Uh, Forrest Gump in the book is a master of chess, while in the movie he doesn't do it. Ping pong. It was ping pong in the movie. Yeah. Oh crap! I gotta go downstairs. I'm gonna take you with me. You wanna okay. go on a field trip? Sure. Just okay. not to the bathroom. Okay, like the film, the book features Jenny having a son that she reveals to be Forrest. The film ends with Jenny passing away and Forrest raising their son alone, but she remains alive and well in the novel. Oh! And Forrest doesn't have a role in the son's life since Jenny's married to another man. Oh! So she didn't die of... Uh, of a uh, gonorrhea or whatever she ate, sexual HIV or whatever sexual disease she had in the book. Okay. The running man. Uh, I would have much rather had seen the running man done as the short story was. Or as the story had him doing. Okay, can you hear uh, me? Yeah. Oh, now I can. I couldn't hear you. I have before. a the house kid. I'll be right there. Oh, okay. The this is another one where they just took the name and wrote a whole new story about it. Because in the book, in the story, he's trying to get help for his sick family. And 
instead of being a prisoner type thing. So, yeah. Watch, I mean, watch the movie. It's a decent movie. It's just not true to the book, to the story. How to Train Your Dragon. Never read them, only watched a couple of the movies. So, my only... The only thing I know for certain is they are in the live action version, they're casting black people to be in the movies. So they're doing some more race swapping. Never read the books, Jurassic Parks. Never read any of the books. So, and everybody knows the movies well well enough that I've never this is one of the ones by Philip K. Dick I never read we can remember it for you wholesale I am going to have to find that book and read it now. That's all there is to it. Because that actually that sounds pretty good. But I did enjoy the movie. I'm sorry, Duck Dog. I missed that part where you said you liked Relic. Okay, yeah, we already discussed the fly. Artemis Fowl. Okay. Young Irish criminal mastermind. Okay, well, Young is definitely right. I mean, he looks to be about 12, 13 years old there. Whoa, even if Artemis Fowl completely misunderstands the appeal of the original books, the least it could do is be an entertaining movie. Unfortunately, Artemis Fowl opts to be profoundly joyless exercise in generic children's fantasy tropes. All right. The Spy Who Loved Me. Okay. Oh, the reason why they're different is because the book sucked. Ian Fleming rewrote the book, the story for the movie. Okay. Don't know nothing about this. Never heard of it either. Heard of either the book or the movie. You know, these ads that these people have on here just absolutely frustrating. 
keep popping up down at the bottom. This discover card, I hate you. The seventh son is based on Joseph Delaney's 2000 Fantasy The Spooks Apprentice. Spook series, 20 sequels. Wow. It's, you know, I love reading books that are trilogies. I just get burned out. I mean, I've got the, uh, um, the series, the Wizard's First Rule series, the first book is called the uh, Wizard's First Wizard's First Rule, uh, and there's uh, like eighteen books in this series by Terry Goodkind, but the um, the last three books are simply a rewrite of the three books just previous to that. And that's pretty much where I quit reading the books. And I think there's a few more in it, but I've just, you know, when uh, authors can only do so much world building. Um, Anne McCaffrey was able to do a lot more will, world building in her books, in her Dragon Riders of Pern books, um, and in her uh, talent series that kept them interesting and every book new. But most of her other books were all trilogies. And a trilogy, um, it's like Dune. The original Dune series was started off as a trilogy. They got expanded into six books. Then the sun got involved and got expanded into another 10 or 12 books. Um, there comes a point when you sit there and you say, well, I want to reread this book. And then you look at it and say, oh, my God, that's 20 books. How can you sit down and reread them all? You, know, you, you just get to that point where you can't reread books because there's, you know, because they're so stupid long. You know, you can reread a trilogy and feel good about it. But to reread 18, 19, 20 books, oh, yeah. uh, so that's what I mean. all, all based on the same series. Uh, I got off of one of my tangents here about yeah, the, seventh, the Seventh Son. It's, a tw it's uh, based on a, a 20 book series. Oh, okay. And I'm, it's like, I hate it when authors do that, right? 20 oh, books, in, oh. you know, 20 books into a series. Yeah. That's not you know, and like I said, you know, if you didn't hear it is I've got, you know, it's like, I want to sit down and reread the wizard's first rule. Right. But then. The whole world is 20 some books. Nah, man. You know, it's like, do I re really want to go through 20 some books again? So, I'd never heard of this. The Seventh Son, the movie, and it's based on a, uh, a book, uh, The Spooks Apprentice. I was like, hey, you know, I like books about magic and such. So, whatever. 
<laughs> I remember watching this movie years ago. Uh, Woody Allen. Um. The Sleepers? No, this oh, is everything no, you always want to know about sex, but was afraid to I ask. Don't, I don't think I've ever seen a Woody Allen movie. Here they're playing sperm. Ew. <laughs> All bunch of sperm there. Okay. The oh, that was a Twilight Zone episode, and that was a Richard yeah. Matheson thing. Yeah. That was button, a good episode. Button. Yep. I don't know how you're gonna make that into a full group. man. That's a full movie. She presses the button. A random stranger will die, but she'll get fifty thousand dollars. That's too little money. They needed to modernize that shit, like two million or something. Yep. Like, you can't even live on a year for $50,000 in okay. some states. You can't get me to do that. And the movie, they made it a million dollars. And okay. in the book, it was 50000 But in the movie, it was a million. Man, it's calling me. I have to get called to school. I hate this man so much. So, do you push the button for a million dollars? Not really. I don't think I could. No. Now, if you told me that it would be a certain type of person, I'd push that button 10 or 12 times. Yeah, if it were my ex-husband, I would push that button so damn fast. <laughs> <I don't even laughs> know. <laughs> no, I didn't say a certain individual. I said a certain oh, see, type, you know, you know, a certain type of person. You know, if you if you were to tell me that every time I push that button, somebody that's hurt a kid in that unbelievably bad way would die. Boom, push button, push button, push button. You know. I, I push that button 20 times and never think twice about it. And that'd just be called a start. <laughs> but, okay. Oh, yeah, all right. I like the book. And, yes, I like the movie. Jumper. It's it's actually a two book series. So there there are differences, a lot of differences between the book and the movies, and the movie and uh, but still. The idea that you could jump between places, instant teleport yourself just by thinking about it between places. All you had to do was be there once before. And then you could teleport yourself there anytime you wanted to. That would that would be that would be fun. So I I that that that'd be something fun to do. And the movie yeah, I'm not going to complain about the movie either. Yeah, they took it a little different direction, but it's one of those guilty pleasure movies. Hey, Parody Bear, how you doing today? I'm so sorry yesterday that I forgot your name. I do apologize for that. Uh, 
the big short never read it or saw it inside the doomsday discover i hate you inside the doomsday machine that guy's obsessed with you. i'm sorry okay A book published in he's a book published in 2004 that helps single women deal with men who aren't interested in them. I don't. Uh, it sounds weak. I'd be like, okay, moving on. There's too many men out there to get hung up on one man. That's just me. I'm weird like that. I don't know. All right. I never liked chick flicks. Well, it's a chick movie or chick book. I'm not into chick books either. Oh, okay. Not even into that housewife porn that's been hitting all over Amazon where all the covers look the same and it's werewolves <laughs> and whatever kind of shifters are into these overweight housewives. And No, that's not my thing. This is a list I'd be interested in looking at sometime. 17 unfilmable books that got filmed anyway. I would say Warm Bodies is on that list because that was not a good book. What what book? Warm Bodies. It was that modern zombie apocalypse thing that really it was just people stopped giving a shit about everything and then they turned into zombies. Oh, They, they weren't big. It was just they stopped caring. And, you know, oh, my fucking God. That is so weak. Yeah. And the movie was better than the book. The book was so bad. It was really bad. I can't wait for it to pop up on one of these lists. They don't greet people in Puerto Rico? What do you mean they don't greet people? What the fuck does that mean? Now, Perry to Bear, what happened was is uh, I, I just have a uh, I I knew that there was somebody, I knew there was a young lady I forgot to say uh, goodbye to yesterday, and I just could not remember who, you know, I, I could not remember your name, and I'm so sorry about that. I thought I said bye to you. I don't think I said bye to you. Warm body, warm boobies? No, it's warm bodies. Thank oh, you. no, Parody Bear says warm boobies. Yeah, he's a joke. It was worn bodies, although the girl was human, so I guess that's accurate too. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, okay. What was that Puerto Rico crap? Is that a joke about me? Because I am not Puerto Rican. I'm gonna stab somebody. <laughs> what the hell is it with people saying I'm Puerto Rican? I'm Mexican. I'm this. I'm that. Whatever. Man, I will stuff. No, you probably like that. No, I'll, you can. I'll you, stuff you, a burrito. You, come on, come on. I. I've got a shroom for a brain, and you got noodles. That's right. I'm not Puerto Rican. I've got I've got a stuffed mushroom now. I will stuff a burrito in your prison purse. You keep messing with me. <laughs> keep Puerto Rican. You'd like that doll, so no, I wouldn't. The war, war and neither. duty. Oh my God! You keep trying. It's not coming out the way you want. Oh. Neither God. the wife nor I want to go to the store today. And she wanted chicken enchiladas for dinner. Yeah. Those but I don't I don't have any uh, uh sauce or anything. I've got uh, only, the only thing I've got is the chicken and uh tomatoes and rice and such, but I don't have any red sauce or green sauce. So and but neither one of us wanna go to the store to buy any. My boy wanted ribs. I have to go to the store tomorrow and get the ribs. I don't want to go today. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to chop this chicken up the, and uh, I'm going to put it in marinara sauce and warm up some spaghetti. So we're going to have spaghetti with chicken instead of beef in it tonight. Are you putting the, the chicken in the gravy and like letting it simmer? Yeah, the chicken's already cooked. Yeah, no, but you put it in the gravy and let it simmer for a few hours. It, God damn it. Oh, yeah. it's. I'm going to put it in the marinara sauce and let it cook in the marinara that, sauce. That is so good. That is like the best thing ever. So, 
and then war uh i've got a bottle a uh, bottle a box of fettuccine and oh. uh that and i've got some mushrooms i'll hook up with it and oh, we'll be good to go i put mushrooms in every i made up some i'm had i made up some butter yesterday and then uh added some garlic to it crushed up some garlic and added to it and That's the way put to it do. And put it in that mini crock pot that Duck Dog told me to buy. Oh. And let it uh, sit in the mini crock pot for about three and a half hours. That's and then today I'll add some. Uh, took it out of the refrigerator this morning, let it get to room temperature. Yeah. And then today I'll add some uh, oregano and Italian herbage and such to it and uh oh yeah parody bear definitely gotta cook it and cook pasta oh. and salt water all noodles you gotta cook in water yeah. Ooh. i'm just waiting for all this work to be done in my apartment and then i'm gonna start making my own i got my board i got my mixer i got my my rolling pin. i'm ready but yeah, I, I I had some heavy whipping cream that I made into butter last night. Ooh, nice! And th and then drank the buttermilk that was left over. Uh, now I would use it to make biscuits or, or pancakes or something. I can. When I was little, I liked buttermilk, so I don't get why I can't. But... Well, I wasn't planning on bi uh, making any biscuits or anything this weekend, and it was only yeah. like that, uh, maybe a half a cup of buttermilk. I see. I hear. So, recycle everything. It, it wasn't enough to to hold on to until I would use it, and there was and I, it wasn't you know. So I just drank it. What the hey? I'm having a panic attack now because we have a leak in our hallway again. For those who like to gossip mm -hmm. or whatever, yeah, I thought I had fixed everything. No. Yeah. I am so fucking panicked and I don't know where it's coming from. It looks like it's coming from the bathroom, but I could be anywhere. It could be that the hot water output um valve is leaking because it hadn't gotten replaced yet, but the guy's coming day day to replace it and switch out the other faucet. Oh, I was using that bathroom faucet today. That wasn't leaking, but it that might have changed in the past couple of weeks. Did you, speaking of bathroom leaks, huh? did you hear about the guy sitting on the toilet? Which one? There's always and, a good toilet story out there. And the wax seal was not making a good connection. And oh, no. evidently, gases come back up. And he rocked the toilet a little bit. No, and the gas come up with his and hit that lit cigarette. Oh, <gasps> mm -mm. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm so glad I don't smoke. Pear, I'm in a total like panic mode. I I do bot a bit. Also, I've got a lot of pages open, so yeah, I'm sorry, guys. If that, that's yeah, you've been botting off and on all the whole stream. It's been a really stressful day. It started out so well too. So, yeah. Oh my fucking god, Pear! Really? That was a really nice thing, and then, then you had to end it with that. Why would I be saying hola? Huh? Do I talk about you being a furry? No. I don't oh, talk about your weird shit. I don't even sound Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay. You know what? No, I will translate hola into noodle speak and it's kiss my ass, okay? <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> I thought we were good. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now I'm heated now. Uh, I'm not well, scared anymore. I'm just heated. Why don't you talk about me? I'm gonna talk about you if you is that what you want? I don't think that's what you want. <laughs> Pear, you're important to us. You important to me. 
Okay. Yeah, we know you good. Uh-huh. Everybody in my streams are good. I've got uh -huh. no bad I've got no bad people. You sit on a throne and lie. So, eh, everybody that likes me is good people. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. You you got to be good people to like me. <laughs> oh god this is too much fun all right well i need to go pick up my pain meds because they the pharmacist this is weird i've never heard of a pharmacy a walgreens pharmacy closing at uh, two o'clock on saturdays usually That's they're weird. open usually they're open until five or six that's like 80s time. You know, but uh, this, this, well, it's like they close every day at 1 30, from 1 30 till 2 for lunch. Right. Okay. And then on Saturdays, they close at 2 o'clock. That makes no sense. Uh, I mean, so it's like, well, and I definitely want my pain meds. Yes, I still got a couple of days worth left, but I want my pain meds in my house where they belong. Because I've been fighting all week to get this prescription filled. Because I, I, I hate waiting until the last minute. Okay, I'm on my last day's worth of pain meds. I need to get my prescription filled, please. Uh. That's here. Frustrating. Frustrating to say the least. So, well, I want to thank everybody to come out today. Pear, thank you. We, we like you. And uh, Retro, man, you get some rest, okay? I know you worked out this morning, you know, recoup. Uh, Tyre? Thank you for coming out. You're the first one in this morning. But I appreciate y'all for coming out today. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, parody bear, a sloth in the parody of a bear. And I like pears. Who doesn't? I do like pears. I like pear juice. My wife thinks I'm crazy for drinking the pear juice. But I do. Pear juice is good. That's more nectar than juice, but it's good. You know what, yeah. Duck Dog? Don't start your shit. Don't you? I will go through you to get to pair at this point. You don't want to be caught <laughs> on damage, okay? Oh, Duck Dog. Duck Dog gives good ideas. And, I, and it's chunk and I And I, I fully acknowledge that he's the one that he, I didn't even know they made miniature crock pots like that. So, but any words of wisdom before we head out of here, Ramen? Unless you want to end up in like a burrito or what are those things? Those little pot stickers? Y'all better stop messing with me. That's how my about, word of wisdom. How about empanadas? I can do that. I know how to okay. make the dough for that. Okay. I need a you good empanada dough because the ones I pulled off the internet suck. You know what? I use the same dough for everything. Like, whether it's samosa or what, it's the same dough. You know, it's all going to get deep fried anyway. I found a recipe for homemade Pop-Tarts that I'm going to try. Oh, you got to let me have that. Oh, wait. I thought you meant toaster soup, not Pop-Tarts. Well, let well, me I know could... how it goes. I can imagine you could probably use it for a toaster strudel. But yeah, I got to give it a try. So, but anyway, thanks for coming out, guys. Enjoy yourselves. We'll be back on Monday. At least I'll be back on Monday. I, I don't want to speak for ramen. But uh, y'all have fun. Enjoy your weekend. It is Easter weekend. All right. Uh, this is Good Friday. And let's. Let's just 
uh, celebrate the reason for it. All right. Yeah, I yeah. celebrate the Jesus that went in the temple and beat up the money vendors and the gambler. That's what Jesus right there. I celebrate the Jesus that saved my soul. See, now you make me feel like dirt. And y'all have a good day now. Enjoy. Y'all have a good day. Goody. Say, hey, you streaming later? And, 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 and it depends on what the wife's doing. I have no clue what uh, she's doing. Okay. I, I, I may do a political stream later, depending on what the wife uh, has me doing today. Because when I said I may do two streams today, that's before I remembered that the wife was off today. Oh, I hear you. So she uh she may she may have other plans for me you know that honeydew list you know i the honeydew list